It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the grunge title card in After Effects. So we're basically going to jump straight into After Effects here and as you guys can see I've added some footage here to my clip. You don't need to have it but just so I can see how the grunge title card is going to look in a actual music video basically. The first thing we're going to do is to make a text layer. So we're going to, we're going to go to the type tool here and then type the title of the music video or in my case here I'm just going to type grunge. And the font I'm going to be using is called Awakening. And it's going to look something like this here. And I'm going to increase the size of the text here. For me, 500 worked. Yeah, I feel like this size will look uh, good and uh, proportionally. Next up, you're going to be centering this text. So you're going to go here to Align. And then press this one here, Align horizontally. And then this one here, Align vertically. So now the text is centered. And for the text here, I'm going to add Fractal Noise. I'm going to change the Fractal Type to uh, Dynamic. Increase the contrast to uh, around 150. And I'm making this Fractal Noise to really get that grunge effect on the actual text now. So yeah, that's the reason why we're even adding Fractal Noise. And, and then I'm going to slightly increase the brightness to 15. So it's going to look something like this. And this is optional, but if you guys want to have an animation to this title card here, you guys can hold alt, press the clock here on evolution, and then here type time star key, and then around 100. I would say the sweet spot is around 100 to 200 uh, for the speed here, so otherwise I think it will look a little bit too, too fast. And after that we're going to be adding a 4 color gradient. And I'm going to start off by copying the yellow color here to all of the other color positions. So I'm just going to use this tool here, copy, just like that, to all of the other color positions. And on blending mode, I'm going to choose saturation. And this is just going to give that slight uh, yellow touch here on the edges and stuff like that. Uh, and I think it looks pretty good. And after that, we're going to add, of course, the effect noise. And increase the amount of noise to 100%. And now we're going to be pre-composing the text here. So right click, pre-compose, name it text. And to the pre-comp layer here, we're going to be adding even more effects. And the first effect we're going to be adding to that is going to be noise again. And here increase it to 100% again. <laughs> and then we're going to be adding a mosaic. And I'm going to set the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks to 150. This is going to create this low res look here. Next up, add even more noise and set it to 100%. And then I'm going to be adding drop shadow. I'm going to increase the distance to 23 and the softness to 41. And it's going to look something like this here. After that, duplicate this whole pre-comp here. So control D. And here on the duplicated layer now, we're going to be deleting all of the effects except one noise. So just keep one noise effect. And here we're going to be adding glow. Drag the glow above the noise. Set the glow radius to 30, then the glow intensity to 0.3. Press Ctrl D. Increase the glow radius to 300, and then the glow intensity to 0.7. But we're going to be adding one last glow here, so press Ctrl D. And for this glow, drag it under the noise. And here, increase the radius to 450, and then decrease the glow intensity to 0.3. And when you're done with that, we're going to change the blending mode of the whole composition here to a screen and this is how it's going to look now i think it looks really really good so far but when i see this i feel like the drop shadow isn't strong enough so i'm going to go back to our first pre-comp here and then increase the opacity to i would say even 100 percent here so it's going to look something like this and now you can really see the text more now the text doesn't blend in that easy with the uh, background now so i feel like this looks good here now the main text is done, I would say. And now to really sell this title card, I'm going to add some small text to uh, yeah, this whole title card. That's really going to make it look professional and good. So we're going to start off by making a new text here. I'm going to just click. And for this tutorial, I'm going to type directed by, and then you can choose what name you want to use after that. Directed by, and then editing visuals. And I'm going to use the Arial font. I think I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> make it smaller and go to align here as well. Just make it centered somewhere 
here, I would say. Center it again, go to go back to the text settings. Mark the text to make it even smaller. I would say 20, it looks good. Then for the actual name, I would increase the size here. So I'm going to set it to maybe 25. So now the name is going to pop a little bit more. Go back to align again, center it. Now I think this text looks good there. I'm just going to add a drop shadow to this and I'm going to increase the softness to 15 just so we can see the text more clearly. Also in the text settings here, choose bold as well to make it a little bit thicker so you can see it from afar. Now I'm going to be, I can actually duplicate this text layer, control D, drag it above to somewhere like here. And here I'm just going to type one of the artist names for the music video. So here I'm going to type future, try to make it aligned with the text here. So it looks something like that. Then control D, drag it to the other side. I'm just typing some examples here, but Travis Scott, just some examples here, but uh, so you guys get the point, I think that looks good. And after that, for some really small touches now, I'm going to just add a dot in between these um, names here. And I actually don't know how to make that symbol, <laughs> not gonna lie here. So I'm just going to search up dot symbol on Google and copy it and use it here. Duplicate one of the artist names again. Go to the middle here, delete the name, then copy in your dot there. And just try to make it as centered as possible. In between those, then you can press Ctrl D. Little tricky to work with the dots here, but uh, it's going to look something like this uh, when you're done with the dots here. I think it looks really, really good and really adds that final touch to it. And the last thing I'm just going to do, I'm going to be adding a logo to this. So if you guys have some media editing companies, you guys can just add a little logo here. That's, yeah, just going to make it more professional looking, in my opinion. Here is the... Editing visuals logo. I'm going to drag the size down to nice. Now it's going to look something like this here. I think it looks really, really good here. And now when it's done, it's going to look something like this. I think it looks really, really good. And it's going to work amazing for your music videos. And uh, really, really cool uh, grunge title card you guys can use. And if you guys like this grunge style here, I have a grunge pack. And I'm basically going to show you guys how it's going to look when adding one of those effects to it. If you just want to make it a little bit more grungy, the whole look here, uh, you guys can make a new adjustment layer, Control y and here we're going to be adding the grunge effect 22. And when you add this grunge effect, it's going to look something like this here. I think it looks really, really cool and really emphasizes that grunge look you guys probably like. If you guys Want to check this pack out? I have a discount code for you guys. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save five dollars off that pack. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisual.com, with amazing editing packs that's really gonna help you in your editing. And don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram. And also, don't forget to join our Discord server. And I will see you guys soon.